I'm Joanne from New Zealand and showing you the two last things to complete your felt Easter egg. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to add whiskers onto the mouth of your bunny and then the second thing I'm going to show you is how to add these stripes onto the egg so that the pieces can be decorated and it gives the children a bit more structure and fun. So the first thing to make these whiskers what you're going to need is only two things. You're going to need a pipe cleaner and you're going to need your piece of felt. So what I've done is I have measured the pipe cleaner and it found that it was just a little bit too long. So if you go around here you'll notice it's about two inches too long and I just got my paper cutting scissors and cut that end off. Then what I did is I placed the pipe cleaner onto an edge of straight felt and I just folded the felt over. It was that simple. I stitched, started at the fold and I stitched along, stitched all the way down to the edge of the, of the pipe cleaner and then I sealed it off at the end. And then I trimmed off the surplus felt and made these. Now they bend very very easily then what I did is place them on the mouth and I just stitched up here right round the outside close to the edge across the pipe cleaner again and then round the inside edge and finished it off and you can see the stitching at the back for how it was done. And that's how you make a very simple effective whiskers for your bunny. The second thing we're going to show you how to make is how to make the stripes for your Easter egg. Now you'll notice that the decorations sit very nicely on these stripes and these little circles are made to go on here. So these are very simple to make. What you're going to need is you're going to need your two pattern pieces. The next thing you're going to need is a freezer paper and trace your pattern pieces onto freezer paper then set those aside. Next thing you're going to need to get is you're going to need to get your Velcro fabric. Now this is the same fabric that is I used on the base of my egg and this in the pattern I will have um, the supplier where you can buy this. You need to strengthen this Velcro fabric with fusible interfacing so place the shiny side of the fusible interfacing on the wrong, wrong side of your Velcro fabric and iron that on the wrong side with a hot iron. You need a hot iron to be able to melt that glue onto there. The next thing you do is you get your freezer paper pattern and you iron that onto the fusible interfacing. Cut that out. The next thing you can you do when you when you've got that cut out you then get your Velcro circles or squares whatever. and I position those little squares first on a piece of felt and then I put and stitch them on and then I put this velcro fabric onto the piece of felt making sure that my velcro circles were equidistant and centered where I wanted them and uh, using a little bit of fusible double-sided webbing I put that in a little piece in here, ironed it all on, stitched using a blanket stitch this time, not a um, straight stitch. I don't know if you can see that up close, but I've stitched using a blanket stitch all the way around and then I cut out the surplus felt. And that is how I made both this piece as well as this piece here. They've both been made the same way. Velcro fabric and on the back felt with the two little velcro circles and they're most effective for um, adding another dimension for children to decorate their Easter eggs. Hope you enjoyed that and I hope you're having fun making your Easter egg.